Good morning everyone, it's Wednesday the 8th of December and we're going to go back into our Christmas readings today, back into the book or the Gospel of Luke, Luke chapter 1 and we're going to read together verses 39 to 45. Let's hear God's word. This is following on from whenever um, Gabriel had spoken to Mary. At that time Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea where she entered Zachariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child that you will bear. But why am I so favoured that the mother of the Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of the greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who believed that the Lord would fulfil his promises to her. Amen. Mary and Elizabeth are cousins. So whenever Mary hears about Elizabeth's good news, that she's going to have a baby, the same as her, her natural inclination is to go and visit her. Just as you would go and visit a friend if you'd heard that they were pregnant. And as they go in, just where it says Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, so God wanted her to know what was exactly what was going on, that Mary was bearing his child, um, the Messiah, uh, the, the one who would save their people. And it's even how she said that whenever she heard, whenever the baby heard Mary's voice, how the baby uh, moved, it says the baby leapt in her womb. So even how John the Baptist was moved, even at that stage, to respond to the voice of Mary. Imagine, imagine being there as these two women talk. Mary, just a young, a young lady, um, up on the cusp of getting married. Elizabeth, a lot older, more than likely, never having had any children, never think she could have any children, and suddenly the Lord has chosen both of them to bear very important children into this world. To be blessed, to be chosen, to realise that. And then to be able to share it with one another. You see, this is, the, this is the thing about the good news of Christmas. We're not to keep it to ourselves. We're to share that news. We're to let others know uh, what God has done for us. And tell others so they too can know the joy of Christmas. We, we talk about how the candles um, around the Advent wreath represent hope, love, joy and peace. Uh, and the hope is, it, it's, it's God's hope. Yeah because it's the hope of the coming saviour. But it's the joy of that coming saviour as well, knowing that peace that that saviour will bring and the love which Jesus will bring into this world. That's why we have those four themes in the candles uh, and why then the centre candle when it's lit on Christmas day represents Jesus, his birth. So this is, this is the joy of Christmas here. The joy as Elizabeth and Mary talk to one another as, as Mary will spend some time with Elizabeth before she travels back home again, um, preparing for the birth of Jesus herself. Trust that the day you might know that joy of knowing Christ. Let's pause together and let's pray. Father, thank you that today we have your joy. Today we have your hope and peace and love because we can have Jesus. Lord, you are so good to us. And again, just being able to read the story of Mary and Elizabeth as they talk to one another, uh, as Mary visited Elizabeth, just to see that joy amongst those two ladies. Lord, may we have just a portion of that joy, a portion of that reassurance of knowing that you're with us, because then we know we truly will have your peace. Father, today, help us to share that joy with others. Help us to share the good news through our deeds and through our words, just through the way we live our lives, that others may come to know that joy, the joy of knowing you. Lord, thank you. And go with us today, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in again. Um, tomorrow, we'll be back and we will be reading what is entitled as Mary's Song in the Gospel of Luke. So if you can, join us again tomorrow for that. Take care. God bless. Bye.